Uh, a computer is an educational device. It is, it is in fact a direct reflection of your, your own imagination, your own intelligence, your own programming skills. And once you are given the freedom in which to create things and to see the, re the immediate response on the screen, then, uh, then, you become, then it becomes a very enjoyable experience. Uh, you go on to, to involve yourself in many other things. Uh, to that end, there have uh, arisen a number of uh, users groups, uh, one of which is, is in this area. And that is a, that is a very useful uh, notion in that you can go to these users groups and you can see other individuals who have, oh, have had much broader experience perhaps than you have. And there you can, can broaden your own experience with the computer. Yeah, I have a son that's 15 years old, and I was trying to develop some type of an interest in electronics. I am myself an electrical engineer and interested in the computer field, and associated through change of technology, I must get into it deeper. My son, uh, now 15, has had an interest in electronics towards computers, but he was undecided. I had no way of developing his interest and mine. I didn't want to push him into this field. Uh, we purchased... I purchased a mini computer, microcomputer, what we call now, as a hobby, and it became quite stimulating to both of us to the point where it was disturbing to our family that we're spending more time programming in our off times than paying attention to the remainder of the family, and it has caused a great interest in my child. Uh, I feel the, with the future of, te of uh, the technology in changing towards computers, uh, I wanted to continue on, so we went and we bought a lo large number of books, uh, programming we self-taught ourselves since there were no courses available at that time. It seems to be a very, uh, a very fantastic and uh, hypnotic field. Uh, once you start, you just can't stop. It, it's, it's something you can't explain. To the question of, uh, you know, what, what is all this microcomputer and computer business going to do to our society? In the past, many things have, uh, many levels of technology have, have stratified our society. Uh, I see computers, especially microcomputers, as uh, creating a whole different manner of technology, or rather of society, in that there's going to be a vertical stratification in society. There are going to be those truck drivers that can deal very simply and very easily with a terminal and will be capable of getting their delivery schedules out of the terminal. There will be those truck drivers that will not. Uh, in the same light, there will be those MDs who will have and use the computer as a tool, and uh, then there will be those MDs who prefer to look at medicine as a, a very strictly as an art, uh, one that should not be approached by a computer or any so totally objective device. Uh, certainly, that you can see from those two examples that we're talking about uh, Housewives that deal with computers and housewives that don't, uh, cab drivers that do and don't, uh, so on and so on it goes. Uh, as to this question of information society, uh, those that will deal with the computer will be far and away ahead of those that do not. Uh, computers are designed to eliminate tedium in our lives. If, uh, if a computer does not do that, the probability is that you, you really didn't need a computer to begin with. You probably needed more arms and legs. Um, it's, it's going to be very interesting. The future, uh, this question of how many jobs are going to be created and how many jobs are going to be totally obsoleted by the computer. A computer really has never obsoleted a job that didn't need to be obsoleted. Uh, the case is that we are humans and we are much more adaptable to, to our environment than the computer is to its own. Uh, we should be the ones that adapt and uh, let that computer take over the tedium so then that three-day work week really does become a reality.